Coming up next, it's the UFC middleweight division fight. as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. See, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now it's going to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, Marvin Vittori! All right, you can lose the lock room. Want you to do my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Misses with the left hook. He changes the angle. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Both fighters throwing heat now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, a single collar tie there. Left hand punch the split. Oh! Wow, what a kick! Now we get back to range. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. Oh, great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut from a great angle. You're just going to stonewall me on that. Oh, I love it. I hit him with a ton of mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece might fly. We love you, John. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. Next round is underway. There was one submission attempt in the previous round, and this man is nothing if not an active pursuer of these submissions. He's gonna continue to chase down that submission. Maybe the next time he gets it locked in, he'll find the finish. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Beautiful punch. Body kick. And oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Punches blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots. I hate to be overly critical, but nothing really. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping. Trying to establish that jab. Oh! Back to the feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big hook. here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, collar tie. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, nice slam as he gets him to the canvas. Exactly what he needed. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 
Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off in this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon in the mat, or if you're going to give your back up, or he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kevin the Trailblazer! Well, can you imagine? 